New support hero, live good. He looks like this. Very attractive, very intriguing. This will definitely be OP for the first two weeks. But you already know that. Or if you have special boy treatment like some of our friendly neighborhood YouTubers, you have already known everything for a month. When I know what this hero does, I know everything about this hero. <laughs> or even longer. So, some people already have videos pre-recorded and ready to drop as soon as it's possible. So what I will be doing in today's video video is not guessing, assuming, or acting like I know everything, and not telling you, but rather gathering all the existing information we have about the current state of the support role, analyzing it, and conclude on what are we missing in the game. So in short, what I would expect the new hero Life Weaver should be able to do. We will mainly focus on the ultimate ability, as it's the easiest one to guess, because I really don't believe he will be doing anything else than shoot some kind of primary fire that does damage, the other mouse button will do something helpful to your allies and also give him two other abilities that grant him stupid form of mobility and the other ability doing something funky to the teammates like bonus attack speed for a brief moment, or who knows. Okay, let's already begin the video before we get too deep and stay off topic. As of right now, we have 8 support heroes in the game, and all of them have a unique ultimate ability. So already we can deduce that Life Weaver will bring something new to the table. Let's quickly move over what we already have and try to work our way by stepping out of our established abilities, starting with Anna's Nano Boost. It is a 100% selfless ability that doesn't buff or help the caster in any direct way. The Nano now gives damage reduction and bonus damage to the ulted target. Back in the old days, when the game was was fun, the nano boost also gave bonus movement speed, but it was quite quickly removed from the game. While on the topic of selfless ults, we also have the Mercy Valkyrie form. Of course, I'm not talking about the flight or the pistol upgrade, but rather the enhanced healing and damage boost given with the staff. While healing or boosting damage, you are stuck with your stick out and forced to only do that for the duration of your ult. Other ways to increase the damage done by the teammates, but without excluding yourself, is nicely done by Baptiste's Window Ult. It's a placeable flat object that enhances anything that your team is shooting through it. It's to this day one of the most unique and out of place abilities in the entire game. So no, there is no possible way our new hero will be having something like this. So these are all the forms of boosting the damage of your allies. If our new hero would have an ability to also do this, it would have to come in a different shape or mechanic, making a very slim chance for a reskinned form of the old Orisa's ult, Bongo, to come back, but looking different enough so it would fit the design of this beautiful lad. This is the first possibility for the now unknown ultimate ability for this guy, but let's dig a little bit deeper. <coughs> Hello, it is I, Hey Simply, while editing this video, and I am super pissed because I just watched the video released by Overwatch on YouTube, and guess what? Everything that I was trying to discover, analyze, and prove has already been freaking shown in an entire video. So, I will not scrap this video, I will keep this segment in the middle of it, and I will show you footage that I was indeed right before the video was even released. So, we can compare how close or how... Or <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited! Or how far I was from the truth. Have fun watching this video till the end and have a good watch of this newest video. I don't care. Have fun! Next, I'll throw Zenyatta and Lucio into the same basket, as their ults are both classed under the defensive ult category. They both provide either big enough shields or healing that can keep the most wounded allies alive. What we are missing in this category is pure immortality, so an ult that will periodically make allied teammates invincible, similar to Baptiste's immortality field, but on steroids. A simple press of a button invincibility wouldn't be balanced, or at least not fun to play against, as shown with the super awesome feedback with Protection Suzu of Kiriko. So we are once again going back to the placeable object kind of ultimate. Looking at Life Weaver's design, I can strongly believe that his ult would be planting an enhanced flower that will give a damage boost and some form of damage resistance to everyone that happens to be in range of it. So in a way, a shield generator, but better. Let's see what else do we have to talk about. Quickly touching on Bridget's ult, as it's super simple. It's just a slow bonus health generator to people around.
around her, so if this was the form of the new ultimate, it would either have to last shorter but give more health, or maybe charging it like Orisa's current Q, and upon releasing it, it will give the equivalent amount of bonus health to everyone around. I don't know how about you, but this doesn't sound too good, so let's skip over this quickly. Almost finished, just two more to go. Moira has a half damage, half healing Giga Beam that is some form of enhanced primary weapon ultimate concept. This kind of ultimate is also seen in Roadhog, Genji, and to some extent Farah and Winston. You don't have to be the smartest man in the world to notice that this kind of ult simply works, and is fun to play. I don't want a support with a damaging ability like the previously mentioned DPS or tanks, but this form of ultimate, but focused in 90% on healing, now you have my attention. The best way I can describe it is imagine combining Ana's primary way of healing and Zenyatta's ultimate healing, giving you a weird but fun hybrid of skillful and highly rewarding ultimate ability. In order to heal monstrous amounts, you need to hit your shots on your allies, and not gonna lie, simply writing this is already creating many scenarios how this kind of ult would be super fun to use in-game. At the very end we have Kiriko. Her ult is just a Baptiste window, but for dummies. Another kind of structure kind of ultimate that enhances your teammates in not only attack speed, but also in cooldown reduction. It also gives a bonus movement speed, so a very versatile ultimate, and very easy to use. But now it is time to conclude everything we established so far. We are left with two possible forms of an ultimate. Either a placeable, small structure that will give some form of invincibility or healing and damage boost, or a weapon ultimate that will be mainly focused on healing and skill the landing of shots on your allies to inflict the maximum potential healing. Now I'll quickly destroy all of the hope for everyone that liked the first idea, as it has already been proven in the past that this form of an ultimate ability wasn't received so well by the players. <laughs> <laughs> there is a reason the Orisa Bongo and Sumetra's shield generator was removed and reworked into something else, but what is an idea that was used in the past have been deleted, but in my opinion was a wonderful addition to the game was multiple choices for the ultimate. Symmetra, for a brief moment in the game's lifespan, had an ability to choose between two ultimates, a teleporter and a shield generator. Now I'm not saying that Lifeweaver should have this exact ult, but rather use the second option I already presented, but give him a choice if he wants to use this ultimate for healing or doing damage or even damage boosting. As I said, his ult would activate a weapon similar to Ana's primary weapon, where he would have to aim his shots to inflict the according effect. When pressing Q, it would create a window similar to Moira's, where she chooses what orb she wants to shoot. This fits perfectly to the description Blizzard has given us already, that he would be a high skill hero, and with a huge potential to be very impactful on his own. In case you are wondering, how would a healing weapon ult be better than, for example, previously mentioned Zenyatta ult? A simple answer is to trade off something Zenyatta lacks in, which is the ult duration. You see, the transcendence only lasts 6 seconds, so if we gave Life Weaver this form of weapon, it would have to last for at least 8 seconds, giving him much more healing and play potential. That requires, with no offense to the Zen players, way more skill than a single press of a button to become immortal and heal everyone around you. All of the things I just said are wild ideas that will soon be proven wrong, or right, who knows. <coughs> but anyways, that will be it for today. If you enjoyed, then make sure to like and maybe subscribe, I would be super thankful. Speaking of thankfulness, thank you so so much for reaching another milestone of 700 subscribers. You guys aren't the biggest for fan bases, but let me tell you, you are the best of the best. And once again, thank you so so much. Let's keep going. As always, thanks for watching, have a lovely day, bye bye.